far as AO85 or Foxat 1A, we have that last video. Had some uh, voice coming through it. I actually just found some the elements for it for satellite tracking. <music> AO85 or Foxat 1A, we have that last video. Had some uh, voice coming through it. I actually just found some the elements for it for satellite tracking using this uh, WX track from David Taylor. Um, the link I got it from, if I still have it up here, is right here. AMSAT.org, AMSAT, FTP caps, current, NASA bear text. So let me see if I have a link. Um, also, the AMSAT Live Oscar Satellite page looks like it's been pretty active um, for the last three days since it's been up there. Right over here at AO85. So that's just a little update on that. Go to the AMSAT org page there. Look under um, Satellite Info Status. Find the caps, download them, and put them in your satellite tracker if you have one. Okay, it is Tuesday the 13th of October, uh, pretty nice day out, a little bit on the windy side just like yesterday. It's been a few days since I've turned on the camera because there's been so much going on. Um, mostly just things around, just things around the house trying to fix things, get things ready for winter. Um, the furnace, furnace filters. Uh, plumbing, uh, going through that, making sure that's all, all nice and cleaned out. Still got some work on the toilet and on the upstairs to do. A lot of leaves have been falling down. Well, it is uh, it is fall. Squirrels are having fun, especially over here. Go get them, go get them. Give me my nut. What? 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 You big bully. Go get them. Go get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Just give him a little shove. So yeah, a lot of leaves everywhere, especially down the block here. You can see they're really going to have fun bagging up these. Ours haven't started that heavily, but there's some pretty interesting colors coming around the neighborhood. It's just about that time of year again. Uh, trying to program some new frequencies and settings in the uh, old Wuxon here. I don't want I don't want that. Need to get to Squelch. Where's Squelch though? Squelch, where are you? There's gotta be a faster way to do this. Squelch though. I'll go down to six. Yep. The other day, um, my aunt passed away, uh, when, I think it was on the 6th, because her funeral was just a couple days ago. There's a car coming behind me, isn't there? But anyway, with my aunt's funeral being in town and some relatives and everything, yeah, that was another reason why I hadn't picked up the camera in a couple days. So we got that taken care of a couple days ago. Saw some family members from Kansas. Of course, North 27th here is getting really busy. Ah. 
and I just had a leaf blow in my eye. What's this about? Is this a funeral over here? Someone's looking for something. I don't know. Off the, going off the slow. I don't know. I don't see any funeral flags. Well, we've lived up here for a few years, and I don't think I've ever seen this place. Uh, well, I, I know it's here, but I didn't know it had a name. We live next to a cemetery. Oh, that's just, that's going to be fun for Halloween, isn't it? We are over at the roundabout over here. Our favorite roundabout that we all love to hate. And I'm pretty sure you're getting a little bit of wind here. But actually, there haven't been hardly any accidents here in the last few weeks, so... Maybe people are just now beginning to get used to it. But you never know with these people. That was close. I heard somebody screw their tires up there just a second ago. It's a close one. Okay, we're on the underpass on the bike trail up here. On uh, 20, not 27th, but 14th and Superior. Uh, this is where a lot of the kids go and to and from from school. There's a little bit of graffiti on the wall. And the uh, the uh, local government here have these uh, little cameras here, part of the traffic camera network. This one is pretty fucking dirty, and I'm pretty sure maybe somebody's even watching this right now uh, while I'm recording this. But that's okay, that's what they're there for, just to see you know, for any flooding or if anyone's missing or snow, all that fun stuff. So what else has been new with everybody? And of course it gets talking and here comes a biker about ready to run me over. Let's see if he does. No? Alright, cool. Anyway, I was looking online to see if there was any uh, software for APRS for Android. Luckily enough, there was. There was some, one was called, I think it was APRS Droid. It's a few years old. I tried hooking it up to this through the uh, speaker part and I got it registered and activated on the phone. Seems to work just fine if you go through a uh, internet connection. The beacon just fine. So a different tunnel, same kind of camera. But when I hooked it up to the radio and it uh, sent a packet every so, every so often, I think it was about every 5 to 15 minutes, whatever you set it at. It did transmit on the radio, but I don't think the signal was making it to the repeater. Actually, probably because I didn't have the, uh, the, the receiving, the uh, headphone jack plugged into the phone too. Maybe I need to get an adapter for that. That's probably why, because I wanted to, to use it out mobile, but without an internet connection. No, can't cross this yet. Still says stop. Still says stop. Well, I tell you, you, you go walking around carrying a camera like this, even discreetly, you get some of the weirdest fucking looks. Like people have never even heard of a camera. Almost at sunset. But yeah, it is an awesome day to be outside. Awesome day to be in Lincoln, Nebraska. Glad things are really coming around for everybody. What's this? Hold on. What? Oh, somebody lost something here. And I think it was nice enough tomorrow or the day after. I think I might pull up my old geocaching app on the phone, uh, which is at home. Um, I think there's a geocache right down over here. Uh, Jack and I kind of uh, looked for it probably last spring, but it was actually disabled and wasn't over there yet. So I don't know if it's still there. Well, that's one of the closest ones over here. 
What kind of antenna is that? I know it's a really long one. Looks like it's for HF or Citizen Band, but it has no ground radials. Has no three radials or four radials like a Penetrator or CLR from the 70s and 80s. It's just one tall element. I mean, it's got to be at least, I don't know, 15, 20 feet long. Is it for HF? Was it for Citizen Band? And here's our sunset shot. Get above the, above the uh, fence here. There's our sunset shot right there. Anyway, let's head home. I'm hungry. I'm tired, but I've got a lot of stuff to do. Alright, it's 9 o'clock. The 9 o'clock VHF net should be coming on any time now. Let's get this set up. Welcome to the East Nebraska area streaming net. This net meets nightly at 9 o'clock central time. It's 146060 repeater. Area net control tonight is KCZO DHM. My name is Mike. Uh, before I set off the net, um, is there any traffic that needs to be addressed? If so please say call sign is KCZO DHM. Chicken to net, uh, would like to hear your call sign. 